All right, so this is going to be like our first video in a series of videos on this uh, GM3 gimbal from Cadex. And here's the uh, box retail version here. Um, get a couple of cables that are included and uh, they go into the back here. Um, one has more wires than the other one, so here's, here's one. And then the other one has only four wires. And then see a power ground, and then I guess this goes to the VTX for gimbal control via the Goggles L Hit Tracker. And uh, this first video is going to be about updating the firmware on the GM3 because um, I was told that it uh, does not work with the Hit Tracker, uh, at least with the version of firmware I have that's on there now, which is like 3.1, I believe. So you got to go to the Cadex website on the download page, scroll down to the GM3 gimbal firmware and download that package, it's like a zip file and then go ahead and extract all that stuff and then I'll talk about which files you're going to want to run um, but basically what's kind of crazy is you need um, this cable here for the update port which is right here and this is not documented on on this, if you download the uh, GM3 gimbal firmware it talks about the pinouts of this update port which is um, basically you have three wires there the ground is black which is on top the red is RX and the yellow is TX but you have to power it off of the main port over here and these these um, pins here and this is documented on the card that it comes with here's the GM3 and you can see the pins there and basically I just wired up um, a custom cable with a voltage and ground SB7 to 26 volts and the other cable with more uh, wires is for PWM control I'll talk about that in a, in a future video but if you are going to be using like um, a transmitter or something with like dials and sending PWM signals to do uh, rotation of the uh, different axes you can do that via the PWM signals uh, if you want to do the head tracking via the uh, goggles L gimbal, you have to use the PTZ setting, and that's what the other cables were. This was this the two cables are for. But what's kind of crazy is this cable here is not included in the package. You have to make up. Well, you need a tool, which they don't include because obviously it's extra cost, and they're going to assume that most people in RC have something like this. So this is a RadioMaster FTDI tool, and so you're going to need. I think it's also known as a USB to TTL as a as an adapter for your computer that goes to your USB port. And so they're assuming that you have something like this. So you're gonna need either a USB to TTL adapter or an FTDI adapter, or you could possibly do it via Betaflight pass through. I I attempted it, but was not successful. So I had to use this tool. I'll link this down below. It's wildly overpriced for what it is, but it's kind of nice. It's got all kinds of little accessories and stuff. I did a review on this already. I'll, I'll link down in the description if you're wondering where to find that. But to, in order to wire it up here, basically, as I said, ground, RX, and TX. The yellow is the TX. And I have the, the little servo cable here and then some of these adapters. I forget what these are called. Comment below in the, in the description if you know what these are called. Uh, and then they go over here, and basically the uh, RX, which is the red, goes to TX on the adapter, and then the TX goes to RX, just like a UART, and then ground to ground, just like this. And you plug it into your computer, it's going to show up as a COM port. There is a uh, CH40 USB driver that you may need. I didn't need it because I've, I've installed it already, but that's also included in the uh, download package. It's in one of the folders. Uh, but if you've done any kind of firmware updates like this before, you probably don't need that. So basically what you do then is once you have this properly wired up, you have this plugged into your computer, you need to power on the gimbal. And I just used like a 2 or 3S LiPo. It'll power on, and then this will be connected to the computer. And then you want to go find, uh, in one of the folders, it's called Gimbal Config. You want to launch that program. It's called Gimbal Config, and it's, kind of it's called Gimbal Config.exe. So you run that. When you run it the first time, it's going to be in Chinese, and the upper left-hand corner is the language switching menu. So click that, and then basically select the first item, which is the only one. 
it'll switch to English and it'll basically reboot the um, or shut down the program, it'll relaunch it, and then it'll from that point on it'll launch in English. And then you're going to go to the COM port, which is in the upper right hand corner. You're going to select the COM port that the adapter is connected to, um, and then hit open. And if everything is working and powered up and wired up properly, you'll you'll get communication and you'll be able to see the um, movement of the gimbal in real time in the configuration tool. So you can move it around and see that the gimbal is moving and operating correctly. You know then you know you have a good connection. So down in the lower right hand corner, you want to click the button that says Open Firmware, and then it'll open up a folder uh, explore window. You want to find that folder that the uh, firmware is in. It's like a CAF something file. Three, version 3.2. It's, it's the only one that's in the download. And open that up, and you hit start upgrade, and just wait. Right during the uh, firmware update, uh, the gimbal will power down, and you'll see a bunch of lights flashing on your um, USB to TTL or FTDI tool, as you can see here in the video. And it takes um, not too long, maybe like 10 15 seconds, and then it'll um, just reboot, and then you should be able to reconnect to the gimbal and you'll see that down in the lower right hand corner should say version 3.2 of the firmware. Um, at this point I'm going to go and test it out and see if this is going to be working with the Goggles L. That'll be in the next video so make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications turned on for the next video in the series. Talk to you guys later.